Hey everyone, my name is Lachey and I'm a senior chemical engineering major and I'm here to give you your live tour of Yoakum Hall today. Behind the camera we have... Hi everyone, my name is Emily Leal. I'm a marketing intern with University Housing and feel free to tell us where you're tuning in from. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of beautiful plants outside of Yoakum. This is sometimes my favorite part of Yoakum, just like all the forestry at the front. Do you want to point out a couple of the points of interest around here? Yes. So around here, we have Walton Business School, which is one of the university's like bigger colleges. Um, we also have Kempo Hall right across there. We are also very close to the 1021 Dining Hall, which is great, as well as there are a few um, food places just around the corner, like where the Wild Greens are, Slim Chicken, Starbucks, things of that sort are just like a couple steps away. And someone in the chat says they're tuning in from Cabo, Arkansas. Ooh. And where are y'all both from? <laughs> I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Uh -huh. So very I'm far. I'm from Freeport, Bahamas. <laughs> nice. So here we have the entrance. And just like most of the dorms, the entrances are fogged for security. So that's not just for any student on campus. It's particular to students that live in this dorm are the only ones that have access to it. Want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Lene Patterson Newcomb. I am the CRE or Coordinator for Residence Education for Yoakum Hall. All right. Well, here we have front desk, which is where during the school hours, this is where you come to pick up your packages, things like that. If you have a lockout, and here we have Kent. He's a wonderful Hello. gentleman. How are you today, Kent? Good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Anything you want to say? To our audience, tips, uh, tricks. Uh, well, first, hello. Getting ready for the school year to start. Um, make sure you double check your address, your mailbox number. Um, there are videos available on how to open your mailboxes. Make sure you review those so that uh, when you get here, you're ready to go. And that's the most important <laughs> thing I can think of right now. All right. Thank you, Kit. You're welcome. All right. If we go this way, we will see that there are also co-ed bathrooms on this floor. So this is just the general area without getting into any of the residence rooms. So I guess if you have friends over and stuff like that, instead of using the bathroom with the other community, they can come down and use this one. I also like that they have two height water fountains because some, some of us are on the shorter side. Now I'm not as sure to use this one, but I do like it. Um, we, here we have one of the greatly painted rooms. I really enjoy this blue and orange color. It just gives life to the room. We also have like the light blocking chairs, which are really good for if you're just sitting down studying or you just want to like be out in the open and enjoy like the atmosphere in the room, but don't really want to be like sociable. The chairs kind of make you feel like you're in an individual slot. Um, over here is where your mailboxes will be located. And as Kent mentioned, on your housing portal is where you will find your mailbox number as well as the combination. And on top, in case you don't get to watch those videos, it tells you step by step how to open it. Um, it is a bit tricky for some students in the beginning, but you'll get the hang of it by like the second week. Um, Do so you ever parents, remember the, the twist combination? Like, have to go two left, one yes. right? Do you remember? So, like I said, it's right there. So you have to go left to the first number, right past the first number one time to the second number, and then go left to your last number, then a little bit right just till you hear a click, and then you open it. Okay. <laughs> That's the secret recipe. <laughs> yeah. so like, I just wanted to make a note, too, that like yeah. Lachey said, like there's some great furniture in here. Honestly, it's pretty easy that you can just move it around and rearrange it as needed. So usually we'll do different programs and events with our RAs hosting those events. Again, great space. We have the TV in the back too, so sometimes they'll host movie nights and things like that. Just some 
party games, stuff like that. It's really fun. It also has beautiful lighting for pictures, if you haven't noticed, because this, the lighting in this room is top tier. So, wait, like, there's in this building. <laughs> Shay, are you watching anything these days? Do you, do you stream? Do you um, I do stream. I am more of a horror really? um, fan. I like horror movies, and right now I'm more of a true crime podcaster. Okay, okay. So, What's your favorite true crime podcast? Um, There's a true crime and paranormal podcast, and it's called... And that's why we drink. Shout out to And That's Why We Drink. Um, yeah, and it's basically two women telling reasons why they have to drink because these things happen in the world. It's pretty, <laughs> it's serious and informative, but they also try to be comedic and like lighter side of things. All right, so. Yeah, um, I'll pop in here because this is actually my office. So during normal year when I'm ha hosting like office hours and things like that, sometimes I'll have meetings and things. So I might, all might not always be in my office, but you can find me here in this weird little corner on the ground floor. Uh, elevators are right there, but you can feel free if you have any questions, concerns, just want to have a friend to chat with. Like I'm here, I've got quite a few couches in there. So there's plenty of comfy space for you to come hang out. All right, and down this hall is where we will find our laundry room. Like all, most of the other dorms on campus, the laundry is free, which is my favorite part of living on campus. You have an excessive amount of washers and dryers. Um, I would also like to point out that there is also a laundry app where you can choose this building and you just look at the number of your washer or dryer and it'll tell you how much time is left on it. Or if you're looking to say, well, oh, you feel like doing laundry today, you can pop it open and see if there are any washers or dryers available. Because sometimes if you try to wash like on the weekend, it's like booked out. So you can figure out before you take all your laundry down here just to realize like there's no open washers. Um, it's also our ice machine. Um, tables for folding for those of us who actually fold our laundry right out of the dryer. <laughs> Down here we have our trash room and this on each floor there are trash chutes for your smaller trash bags like your room trash but if you ever have like bigger items and things you want to recycle um, you have to come and bring them on down to the trash room not much to see in this dark room, but this is where it is. <laughs> is it a, a switcher? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have recycling, and then normally more trash bins for the bigger bags, especially for those of you during moving, when if you buy a bunch of new stuff, you have a bunch of cardboard and just boxes you want to get rid of. Um, we would prefer you don't push those down the trash chute because they will get stuck. So just come on and bring them down here. I have to say the smell in there is incredible. There's no smell at all. No. I'm very surprised that our ISA staff has done ISA a wonderful job. has everywhere smelling like peaches and oh, lavender. Yeah. And <laughs> I am in love with it. Yes. All right. So what brought you here from the Bahamas? Well, you know, a lot of people ask me that question and they're really shocked by the answer because I literally typed into Google engineering colleges in America and there was like this list of colleges from like I guess best engineering colleges to like worst like one to ten and I kind of just applied to like the ten on that list and then I got the, uh, the acceptance letter from here and I started looking into like the community and like the international students and then I also found out that the University of Arkansas actually has an agreement with the Bahamas so I get a like redacted rate on my tuition as well so I don't pay about like 80% of my international fees so shout out to our international students come out <laughs> and check it out see if you qualify because that helps a lot I can imagine yeah so over here we have more recycling as well as vending machines which are normally fully stocked throughout the school year i think someone probably comes and stocks them each week yes restocks them. yeah for the summer right now we haven't had a whole lot of conferences or people staying in the building over the summer so they don't regularly restock them but 
they're definitely full all the time throughout the year so lots of options here we've got sodas coffee drinks yes yes uh, snacks and things there's lots of options very much a coffee drink <laughs> All right, and if you look down here, we have what used to be phone boots, something I know nothing of using. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time. And across here, we have a little kitchenette, as I like to say, because it's not really a full kitchen. Um, but it does have a stove, and it is open for use for all of the residents. Um, it's also attached to this grand room here. And Linnea, would you like to tell us about some of the events that sure. we have in this room? Yeah, so again, like I said upstairs, there there's a smaller TV that's in here, but usually they'll do some different events. Sometimes they might host some like Jackbox parties or things, but we've got the pool table, ping pong. I know students love those all the time. So there's definitely some great options. Just if you wanna have some casual things, you can check out that equipment from the front desk. But our RAs will also host programs down here for different things. Um, again, because of the kitchen, they'll host some different like food options and things. Maybe just have like a general potluck meal if people want to come down and share some things. So there's a fridge over here as well that is a shared community fridge. Mm -hmm. So as with both the fridge and the kitchen space, since that is a shared community space, we ask the residents, you know, keep it just, cool. yeah, make sure that you're being courteous of others around you and clean up after yourselves. And I'm thinking with a shared community fridge, because a lot of People probably are coming from home, but they've never mm -hmm. shared like that. Writing your name on your food is yes, <laughs> containers, containers, it's like hundred percent, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because even sometimes with writing your name, that's like if Lene and I buy the same like flavor yogurt, oh gosh, she may not really remember to check like is this does this say Lene all the shade? So I normally like to like just do containers like different colors, just so I know like anything that's in this container, I can eat whenever I want. And the school also provides like micro, fr micro fridges, which is like microwave and a fridge combination. If you're not one that's very comfortable with sharing the fridge, or you just don't want to walk way down here every time you're hungry. Color coordinated. Yeah. Wow. Yes. yes. Yeah, next level. It's important to coordinate. I would also like to point out that this room is also wheelchair accessible, so we don't leave out our disabled students as well. So they can come on down and enjoy the activities as well. And we're getting a couple people in the chat who are asking, um, hoping that we'll show a chase room later. Yes. yes. We will. We in will. fact, I think I saw someone in the chat asked for a single chase room as well. And if we can, we'll, we'll show that as yes. well. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's head up there. Yeah. Oh, I was also going to jump in real quick just mm -hmm. because we we're talking about programming that the RAs do. Um, not necessarily that you want to always show up to all the RA programs, but we definitely encourage you to. But we've also got an initiative going on throughout the campus that is the Pick One initiative. And so if you go to Pick One, spelled out O-N-E, at uh, .uark.edu. So Pick One .uark.edu. So we're encouraging all of our students to get involved early on before they even get here. Um, you can go to Hogsync and scroll through all the tons of different RSOs or registered student organizations and pick basically just just literally one organization that like you're interested that you're excited about that you want to get involved in so that's one way that you can kind of start getting involved on campus early um, and they're also giving away some prizes for getting all that si uh, signed up and set up before august 1st so make sure that you're checking that out too if you're looking for opportunities to get involved on campus cool. in housing we have residents inner hall congress which is our on campus uh, government. Ooh. It's definitely a great way. Um, usually, what happens with RIC is we have a lot of Lead Hog students. Um, so, Lead Hogs is one of our leadership programs that our incoming freshmen usually get involved in. We also have Lead More. So, if you're a returning student on campus, you can also get involved with that. Um, but usually, as part of uh, Lead Hogs, that kind of also leads into RIC. So, you can serve as a representative for your hall as part of that Hall Congress process. Um, we will be getting into the elevator now to go up to the rooms, so we may lose connection for a little bit. Just bear with us. Okay, <laughs> we'll see how our connection holds up. Uh, you can see on the walls here we have some padding, and that's, that's for move in and move out. Yep. Um, protect the walls. 
bring in a lot of like dollies and things to kind of move their stuff around and bang around pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, that's that's still one question as well. Dollies are provided during move-in and move-out to help you kind of facilitate from the car to your room. So if you live on the 10th floor, don't worry about taking those stuff up the stairs or piling them into the elevator. Um, I pushed it again. Uh, oh. <laughs> We're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. We're moving I along. I forgot about that because the first time that happened to me, it startled me a little bit. I thought there was a ghost, but a apparently ghost. the way the like our elevators are weighted, one automatically goes up to the sixth floor. So if you're on the elevator and it randomly takes you up to the sixth floor Be not because afraid. you didn't oppress anything, that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. About the, um, the uh, dollies though, we do have limited numbers and you do need to have an ID that you can leave with us yes. when you borrow them. I know some people also ask about carts because some of the halls do have move-in carts, but unfortunately our building we cannot accommodate the carts just because we're an older building, the doors you know, aren't wide enough, unfortunately. So we do have dollies though. So if you can bring your own dolly, that's also highly encouraged since we do have limited dolly options for you to check out. All right. And just to say like the hallways, the building holds, I think about Four, okay. Five, okay. 527 students. I think 527. 27? Yeah. So, <laughs> so exact. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to be exact. So a little bit over 500 students and the halls are, are normally um, gender, gendered by either floors or size of the hall. So we're not sure. They kind of decide that a little closer to the school year. But just know that the genders won't be mixed, so bathrooms will either be male or female on each side of the hall, or the whole floor will be female. So so they are labeled, so that's yeah. helpful too. <laughs> uh, someone asked what floor we're on. We're on floor 10. Yes, we are at the Tiffany Talk. All right. So this is what your average community bathroom looks like. There are two showers and two um, toilets in here. The showers have shelving as well as a little area to get dressed, which is what I love about it. So the trick for that is to make sure that you invest in like caddies and stuff like that. Um, please, caddies, put in your keys in the caddy so you don't lock yourself out of your room while you go to take a shower. Learn from my mistakes. Keep your keys on you when you go to the bathroom. I love Yoakum's bathrooms because of this mirror right here. Most bathrooms in the dorms don't have a full length mirror in the bathroom, so picture opportunities are top tier. <laughs> so now we'll go and take a look at a chase room. We also call these lofted rooms. These, this is the standard double lofted room or chase room. It comes with a television, which is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh and so feel free to ask any questions you have about dimensions, dimensions in this room. We're also going to be looking at the single chase room and, and the standard. Double, yeah. double. Yes. Um, so, there aren't, this is different as, as in there aren't any mirrors in this room. So this will probably be the dorm where if you wanted to bring a full length mirror with you, that would work. Perfect place for it will probably be under the television. Um, there are towel racks behind the door for each person as well as two dressers and a chair. Um, are we getting any questions? There was a single request. Why don't we go over to 1028 real quick and okay. look at a single version of this. Okay. All right. And then we'll go into the main room. So if you have questions for now, or are taking questions on the wind chase rooms or the uh, high chase rooms. 1028 is to your left. It's over here to your left. Oh, I was like, and then yeah. left again. Left, left again. again. Uh, Hannah asked, how do you know if you have a chase room? You can so, go, oh, okay. no, if you got it, you have numbers, <laughs> that sounds great. Yep. So on the university website, their chase rooms, they tell you which rooms are the chase rooms. 
So once you get assigned your room, you can just do a check and see, did I get a lofted room? And so this is the single lofted room. It just, it's the same amount, just a little smaller than the double and with one set of furniture. There isn't a TV in this one, um, but you have more space to set a TV up if that's what you wanna do. We're getting a couple questions. Um, they're not too sure what size the bed is in a single chase room, so maybe we should measure it? Sure. So the bed is seven, about 74 and 78, so I would say 75. 75. So that's like a standard twin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, someone asked if we could show a single room with a bathroom. I don't know of any that we have in the bathroom that are no. RA rooms. Yeah. Only residents, assistants have bathrooms in their room. If you are an RA um, and you want to see your room, I think RAs are allowed to like request tours from their um, CRE. And that will be done at a separate time. Um, for now, we're just showing the standard rooms for regular students. Mel asks, what's the distance between the towel racks? Sid asked, can you pick if you want a single or a double? Not at this stage of the game. Um, those decisions have already made. A lot of people who uh, contracted early got a chance for those singles, but at this point, that's uh, pretty much already. They're all grabbed up. Yep. Did we um, explain why it's called a pipe chase? No. Okay. <laughs> Just There's a pipe behind this wall, and it goes through the whole building. That's the only reason it's called a pipe chase, because <laughs> it chases the pipe. Uh, someone asked, do the chase rooms still come with the TVs? Because this one doesn't. It's a double, then yes. It's just kind of a way to compensate for having two people and less space. Otherwise, as a single, you generally have a lot more space to work around than if you were to have a roommate. So at least the doubles will have a TV, but the singles don't. And unfortunately, I believe students are also not allowed to loft their own TVs. Mount them. Um, mount their mount own them. TVs, so. Yeah. You can't put anything on our walls that's going to leave a permanent mark. Yeah. And someone asked, can we see 1022, please? Is 1022 up here? I guess it would be. We do try to accommodate those. If we're on your floor, we'll try. But we're going in there blind, so if you see anything weird. <laughs> where, where is 1022? Is it that way? 1021, so. It's probably at the end. Okay, that's good. Actually, we're getting that version anyway. Is it? Oh. Yeah. All right, we're on the move. <laughs> it's a great view. Into the thick of it. Yeah, heading to 1022. Doesn't <laughs> like you get to have this nice view of Humphreys if you want to, you know, say hi to a friend. You can see Old Main from here as well. Yeah. Oh, you can. Pretty nice. And there are better views on the other side as well. Oh, absolutely. And here we are. So 1021 is right here. Or was it 1022? 1022. Oh, the corner. Okay. Okay. So this is 1022. Mm -hmm. um, you also have a very nice view of the stadium from this side of the building. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Any other questions? Um. These Someone, are lofted. Yeah, this these are bad. lofted. They this typically about, aren't lofted when you move in. <laughs> this is about the second highest that these beds can go. So they can go to about here. So you have plenty of space for like an entire life underneath. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone was asking, how big is the space between the pipe chase and the wall? Um, I'll go measure it real quick. I think you said four to three inches. Okay, yeah, between there. the pipe chase and the wall. I'll go yeah. Measure. Um. Mad asks, you may have already shown them, but are there community and study locations? Um, right now, they, we are having like max occupancy for most of our dorms. So we are turning a few of them into rooms. 
So yes, there normally are. We may have fewer of them than usual, mm -hmm. but there still may be one or two because you know studying is the reason that we're here. Yeah, we definitely want to accommodate that. And if anything, we do have RAs that are focused on academics and promoting academic success while you're living on campus. So we will definitely be working on like, connecting you with other study spaces that are close by. So that way, if you can't find a you know private study space for yourself within the building, you can go just nearby. So that way, you've got some place to study. The pipe chase um, comes out about 42 inches from the wall. Um, Mel asked, is there only one bathroom on the floor or two? Technically, side. I was like, technically, I think there is a total of four, but it's one per side. So since the way it's kind of, if you think about it, our building is like an H. And so the middle bar of the H is where the elevator is. And so each of those sections have their own elevator, own bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, Mel asked, what is the default height, default height of standard room beds? Um, here, I don't know the exact measurements. That'd be another thing like, if we want to check. Yeah, you can but go usually to. Usually, it's the sixth bar from mm -hmm. the bottom. Okay. You can go to movein.uark.edu, go under Ready to Arrive. You'll find that about halfway down the page, and there's an area on that page about uh, lofting, mm -hmm. and there you'll find the three-inch increments that are allowed. And Nikki, you can you can loft the three-inch increments. Oh, or you can put it at the bottom. Whatever <laughs> works for you. Um, someone asked, can you give a measurement of the lofted bed on the floor? From the, to the floor? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it might be easier to do it yeah. from the top. From the measurement. And now, that is yeah. Good. You know, I just like to do things the crazy way. <laughs> 63 and a half inches. And that's going to include that measurement of that. So yes. let's see, if we, if we did it from right here, like, from the like right there. Yeah. Yeah. That would be 50, about 55 inches. Norma asked, is this corner room the same as a standard room? I really yes. think it is. Yeah. Um, there might be an additional foot maybe here, yeah. or it's slightly different. We can move into another one, um, yeah. just so you don't miss so a, this is, a corner. This is a it's setup for a standard, standard room. Mm -hmm. So that. Um, the shelving that's built in, the desk is built in, they have like these actually pretty nice little bulletin boards if they want to decorate those and customize those for themselves. Elle asks, how much wall space is there between the bookshelves and the window behind the bed? So we could like... So I guess from... Yeah. Oh, from there? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're wanting to know from the bookshelf to the window. So and subtract about two inches from that if we hit the blinds, or add about two. Let's, let's do it this way. Okay. Can I... That's smart. It's about 56 inches. And Albert asks, apology in advance, I've done no reading on this. If there is a COVID case, is the student moved to a quarantine area in each hall? Right now, we're encouraging students, if they have a positive case, to uh, uh, go um, home, I believe. We've got an FAQ set up on movein.uart.edu where that's basically explained on what we... For, we have some limited uh, quarantine and isolation space on campus. Limited compared to last year, but a little bit. Gracie asked, is there any way you can give an estimate of a loft that's 39 inches? Hmm. 39 okay. inches would be, divide that by 12. Can we do that? What is that? Uh, three feet, uh, it's three, three inches? Feet, three inches, yeah. Three feet, three inches. So, a foot is like a foot. So three of those. <laughs> one, two, three, and then a little bit more. So maybe like right there. there. Do you want to test it out? Sure, let's give it a go. Let's see. Let's see your estimation powers. That was 40. Whoa. Did she say 39? Mm-hmm. Wow. No, that was about 41. That was pretty okay, good. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, I mean, foot's foot. <laughs> Sid asked, so you can change the height of the beds? Yes. So normally you're able to change the height of the beds yourself. Um, you can also put in a maintenance request to have it lofted before you get here, which is what we often um, recommend. Um, 
You can also have your roommate help you unlock it. It just needs to be unhooked and put in the correct slot. Um, so yeah, you can loft and unloft as you try to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. And what, go to you, go to Google, type in. Yes, go. To, <laughs> so I think the correct um, link is housing. Housing. Edu slash fix it. But I never remember, so I always put UARC. I go into Google, I put UARC, and then I put whatever word I'm looking for. So I'm looking for UARC um, lofting, UARC maintenance requests, anything like that, and it's way easier to find. It's normally the first link on the page. Yeah, I was gonna say, in terms of like requesting it, that's the only thing we encourage you to do it beforehand, so that way they can come in and have their bed lofted ahead of time while our maintenance staff have a little more time that they can come in and do that. But it can get a little bit busier once everybody starts coming in and realizing all of the things that like they need adjusted or fixed. And so basically that's why we wanna encourage you to do it earlier than trying to get here and wait to do it. But we do have mallets that are also available for checkout at the front desk. And that'll help you kind of like lift out that uh, frame itself so you can loft it. Um, the thing with these beds too is that the like, I don't know what to call this, the loft bracket. It starts um, it it's up. only like partially through. So basically what you would need to do if you want to have a lower bed or something, you could flip, flip it. it. And so you would flip this part of the frame and then load in the frame itself. Um, there are also RAs that are here and they know what they're doing and they can help you with lofting, unlofting as much as you want. They'll definitely give you some tips too if <laughs> you need some help. Norma asked, can you please measure the outer edge to the outer edge of the bed post and the inner edge to the inner edge of the bed post? Okay. I most certainly can. This is inner edge, I think? Yes, this is inner. So inner is about 34 inches. And outer is about 38. Uh, Mads asked, how do students get up to a lofted bed? Do they need to bring a ladder or? Well, it's multiple those of methods. Us that have faith in these bed frames. I myself just use this as a ladder. Um, Feel free to bring a, a stepping stool, a ladder, anything that makes you comfortable. But I would say the average student just climbs on up from the sides. And I know some people will take that route. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> like, Not recommended. Not recommended, yeah. but this is the safest. But yeah, no, I've definitely seen people bring in some step stools and things, mm -hmm. or even like, I've seen some custom made like that staircases is. basically mm -hmm. that people have brought in that work for them and so yeah. i mean if you're handy like that and you have family member or just and one the piece, yeah if you've yeah. got everything honestly that's a great option too if you feel safer that way <laughs> uh what room number are we in 1022 all right dawn asked can you measure the width of outer edge to outer edge of bed post did we just do that you got okay that one. yeah um Moxie asks, can I please very kindly request a tour of Yoakum 0409B? Zero, would that be on the, what floor would that be on? Four. Zero, four. four. Down to the only four. Four or nine? That's four or nine. Four, four. Okay. And then a second person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately we're here on the 10th floor, <laughs> yeah, and so, so we're going to be touring this, this floor, but I, uh, I appreciate that. Perhaps you can reach out. Um, to housing.ur.edu and we can see if we can do something for you there. Uh, Hannah asked, which bed is A, door or window? So basically you'll think about it like you're looking, like you read a letter left to right. So when you come into the room, the left will be A and then the right will be B. But I also feel like if you and your roommates, both like your window person and they don't care for the window, I don't think yeah. housing is gonna be like, no, you have to sleep over here. The biggest thing with that really is just when it comes time to check out, because usually we have, uh, like, you're assigned that space, so if somebody has checked out early and we can't confirm if you were in one space or the other, sometimes you might get charged for somebody else because you swapped. But 
ideally if you want to swap and like you both agree you can call housing and get that assignment swapped for each other and then that way it's in our system ready to go and you don't have that confusion at the end of the year mm -hmm. and everybody still gets to stay in the same room yeah. super easy process but letting us know early is the key. Do not wait until it's time to move out. And you're like, oh, I live in B. I live on B side, but I have the keys for A, and that kind of confusion. So the earlier you and your roommate decide whether you want to swap, the better. Someone asked, what are the typical safety procedures for those on higher floors? Um, really, we we have screens in place on the building, um, but generally we it's. Like, not generally, but it is, you know, not allowed that you were supposed to go, you cannot go out onto the ledges. It is discouraged to even go on the first floor because I know on the ground floor, some people like to try to climb on those, but those are, you know, big safety issues. So we will have signs that are up and posted saying, you know, cautioning against that and how that is not allowed and that it does violate our uh, mm -hmm. residence hall handbook. Carson asked, what sizes are the beds in the standard rooms? They're they're the same as these, I believe. Let me just check my my uh, cheat sheet here. But isn't the door side twin? The, and the door side is seventy five inches. The window side is eighty. Okay. And Moxie asks, "Can I please measure the exact width of the inner edges of the window for a spring loaded curtain rod?" Oh. For a tension rod, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what it looks like over there. Emily, could you show her what it looks like over on that side past the little wardrobe? It's just a little corner yeah. area. Do you think you, uh, can I pull, do I need to pull this out and you can get a measurement easier? Um, does she want both? Why I think she I... wants the full width of the window. Yeah. yeah. Why am I never able to like keep a curtain on? <laughs> So I think if you if you brace you, like, your thing over here side. and hit this wall, you'll be fine. You don't have to. Um, yeah, open I don't the think. Like, yeah. 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 Get that other wall. It's going to be in the hundred inches area. Where is it? Oh, there you are. A hundred and twenty-nine and a half. All right. And Hannah asked, and can you confirm? that the window bed is the slightly longer bed. I can confirm. <laughs> we'll even measure it right here, just to make sure. Let's see. Do you want to measure it this way? Uh, that well, yeah, I mean, you can measure it that way if you'd like. That way is going to be 36. Yes. Round about. And then the other one, this should be 80 across. Here, can you help you out here? This Maybe. is the mattress, but here's the bed. You want to go from like here then? Yeah, that's just the mattress, but we want to get the bed. So from here? Yeah. Let's see. Can you get my hand in there? I can, ooh, I can. 82. 80. About 80. About 80, yeah. About 80. Um, Norma asks, can you please measure the height of the bed post? Sixty inches. And Jody asks, "Can we see the closet?" I will say a lot of students. This is also um, where they put their micro fridges in, like a corner, one of these corner spaces. It fits really nicely, um, and you can make it like just one section and have your closet on the other. That way, you don't have to think about putting it somewhere that blocks the mirror or like your working spaces. Parker asks, what's the view from the window? The view is the football field, the stadium, the parking lot. Ugh. Okay, there we go. It's That's gorgeous. the view from the 10th floor. Very beautiful. You also get a lot of mountains, which is nice. Yes. The sun will wake you up for class every morning. Right on time. And Moxie asks, can you please take the measurements of the desk drawers? So there's two. This is about 19 inches. You're, and maybe I mean, do the, the, the this way too. Well, and the. So it's 19 deep. 
and about 12 and a half across. And Claire asked, can you measure the bottom of the bulletin board to the floor? Um, Alberta asked, where do you see most students place the fridge in the microwave? And I'll say that I saw uh, many people put it under their bed and put the microwave somewhere on here. Mm -hmm. But as Lachey said... I've seen people stock it and just put mm -hmm. it like... If you notice this, the closet has like this part. So I've noticed people like put it here and then use the rest of the closet. Like I know I've seen people who stash it under here, mm -hmm. under their lofted bed, and then they'll put up like some nice like curtain kind to of hide things it. around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One common question we get is how many outlets do you have? I've counted mm -hmm. ten. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah. All right. And we average about eight to ten in every room. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, someone asked, can the dorm wallpaper be used? It's basically contact paper. So here's here's the caveat <laughs> about that. Um, if you use anything on our walls and don't damage them, and they're removed at the end of the year, you're fine. If they damage them in any way, if any paint comes down, then there will be a charge. So high caution on those wallpapers. Like I've seen people who've done an excellent job of removing it, and they're experts at pulling it off and cleaning off any kind of residue. But I've also seen, unfortunately, the opposite end where people literally just pulled it off and unfortunately it took off huge chunks of paint of things and ruined things so we don't want you to be charged at the end of the year we want you to have a good experience mm -hmm. and try to decorate like you can but also you know do take that into consideration so one way i combated that is i did tapestries instead of wallpaper um amazon walmart places like that you can get different size tapestries and just cover the entire white wall from ceiling the floor and just forget that there was ever a wall there <laughs> so that's mm. a a good like swap out i'm a wallpaper person too but i've become a tapestry lover over the years uh someone asked will i get in trouble at the desk if i use desk a or desk b's desk chair oh, oh the chairs um I mean, those generally don't matter. I mean, that's kind of up to you and your roommate, but otherwise, like, the chairs themselves, it's mostly the space that you're occupying that's yeah. the concern about, like, what space you're living in. So as long as, you know, you've kind of talked with your roommate about, like, what's able to, like, be, you know, shared, which that's another thing. At the very beginning of the year, uh, your RA will meet with you, and you'll set up an RA, or the RA will set up a room agreement time they'll meet with you and your roommate and so you'll have a chance to kind of talk about you know things that you agree upon or don't want to you know have happen so maybe if there's something that's like uh you know your times that you wake up having guests all of those things you'll have a good discussion about and so you can set some of those guidelines with each other very 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 important mel asked is there a built-in work light in the desk yes underneath i believe there's switches right there Oh, yes. wow. Super nice. It's very bright in the evening. Oh, yeah. And someone said, my son had his own room last year in Yoakum, and he put his fridge in the space she just talked about, I think the closet, and put the microwave on the counter with the mirror. Yeah. Uh, Moxie asked, can we have LED strip lights along the walls? Um, again, I off? think, yeah, it's kind of the same thing, that like if you're able to take them off without ripping off any paint, then again... That's great because I know I see a lot of students that bring those in and like they're really great aesthetically like they look really nice um, but yeah it's just I think being careful about how you remove them. And there are a ton of forbidden items if you will in the room. You can go to movein.uart.edu and see what items are absolute no-nos. Lights like that are not an absolute no-no it's just how you mount them. Mm -hmm. uh, open flames that's a no-no. Um, and I will say another trick I just I like to decorate so I figured out how to do it if you so painters tape or blue tape won't ruin the walls if you fold the blue tape the same size as the LED strip you could actually put it on the wall using the painters tape instead of the tape that it comes with and it'll come off with ease like I've also found that if you buy 
Separately, the like command strips that actually have the pull tab, mm -hmm. you can usually pull those off easier than just the straight mounting tape that they come with because those usually don't have like the easy release. Uh, Moxie also asked, can we use a George Foreman grill? Unfortunately, no. I made this joke at orientation, but we don't want any instances like uh, Cooking your foot? Michael, the yeah, Michael Scott, <laughs> office, <laughs> making breakfast right in the first morning you step off into your Foreman grill. Mm -hmm. grill. So, unfortunately, basically anything that has an open coil or heating element, those are not allowed in the halls. That also includes air fries. I've heard a lot of questions. Yes. So, I know toasters are a no no. Do some uh, microwave. Yeah. Candles are a no no. Yeah. Oh. Candles, mostly because of the wax. Like, that could be mm -hmm. a real big issue with trying to clean it up, or people mm -hmm. accidentally pour wax down the sink, and that's also not fun to clean up. Sure there's a lot of things you can break. Yeah, there's yes. some great things, honestly. Yeah. Like instead of candles, there are like the Glade or the Airwick plug ins. Yes. Those work just as well. Mm -hmm. I know I'm uh, a big fan of Bath and Body Works mm -hmm. and the they have the Wallflower yeah, wall yes. plug ins. Those are good, good and great smelling. Mm -hmm. um, Gracie asked, Do you use your key card to get into your room? No. Do you have an actual key? So you use your fob to get into the building? But your room doors, you use the actual key to key in and lock and unlock. Heather asked, are all the beds lofted high like this? No. <laughs> these just were left unlofted from move well, out. Well, actually someone made a request. Yes. yes. So oh, somebody, these are requests? Oh, okay. Early that they wanted their bed yes. to the ceiling. And it was okay. Done. At the end of the year, we asked all residents to lower them. And so the sixth rung from the bottom is where your bed should be. So all of the like bed frames across the hall should be at that level unless you've already put in a request. So anybody who's put in that request, they should be lofted now. Um, Tamara asked, does an RA's room have that same shelving space slash desk and closet area? Um, some of them, I think, because I know we kind of looked at some of the chase rooms. Some of those are RA rooms, um, but there are also the different rooms that have like this where it's like the built-in shelving. And then Norma says, thank you so much for y'all's help. Can you give me the ceiling height? And can you also show the corner of the bed where the black frame meets the bed post? Um, I don't have that dimension here. So if you want to capture it real quick. I will. That is 96 inches. Oh, right. And then you want to show the corner of the bed post where this oh other frame part. Yes, and then they get in with these little notches on the yeah. And then um will like someone asked will I get in trouble if A swaps with B halfway through the semester so we can each have a turn at the window? Um not if you do it the right way and like Linnea said like just going through housing and requesting it it's such a quick process that you just have to call someone from housing or even talk to Kent at the front desk, let him know that you two are wanting to switch A and B, and he can properly tell you how to go about that process. I would advise, please request it before you do it, just to avoid any confusions when it comes to move out. And Moxie asked, um, is a Keurig coffee machine okay? Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> You're going to need it. Yeah, like all of our students have brought in their own Keurig. That might be like one of those really full fancy ones, or they even have like the single serving ones. But I feel like, okay, as a coffee drinker, they are a must. I have. definitely yes. had a Keurig. Yes. I, I had a Keurig. I also well. had like the compartment that you slide out with all of the parts. Yes. Oh, those are totally fine to have. <laughs> and like we talked about, like the counter space mm -hmm. up here is usually a really great place to put those. Um, Parker asked, do you know what side room 802 faces? Uh, let's see. These are the 22s, so you can move the other side. I think so. Would it be over here? Over there. So this it's is... Be like down the other this side. is north. No, this is... Yes, this is north. Mm -hmm. So it would be, yeah. I believe, south and east. I think, unless it's down yeah. on this side. I'm pretty sure it's back down on that. Okay. And that would so I, we don't think it faces east. the stadium. It does not. Okay. Yeah. It's still great views, though. Yes. It is. Yes. Um, Moxie asks, can you please take the exact measurements of the closet drawers from the inside? I'm thinking maybe these. There's a couple of different ones. Oh, yeah, there's 
the top ones are a little bit smaller. So it's 22, about 21 and a half inches deep, 14 inches across. This one is about 21 and a half inches deep in. Thirty inches across, and I'm going to measure like how deep it goes down. Just so you know, and it's about nine inches down. All right. And someone else asked, are we able to bunk the beds when we get there? Um, typically, no, but that can also be put in as a request through maintenance. So usually, maintenance will have to handle any kind of like bunking of beds. But otherwise, we don't encourage students to do that themselves. Uh, Heather asked, how high are these lofted? I think we determined. I feel like we got that measurement earlier. Yeah. yeah so. And Moxie asks, can you please focus the camera to the electrical plugs and electrical panel on the closet wall? Well, there's some plugs here. Oh, yeah. And then plugs there, and then there's the thermostat, and then we've also got cable hookup as well. So we do provide Cox cable, so that's where that hookup will be, and you can plug in your TV and everything. And then there's also additional plugs over here. There's also the Wi-Fi box, so you can plug your Ethernet oh, yes. cable directly into your laptop. And it is 56 inches, by the okay. way. And we're caught up on the questions. Well, um, do you have any final thoughts for us? Any um, tips and tricks? Anything you learned over your years? I would say, well, my tip for living in Yoakum is don't be afraid to venture into North Campus. I know a lot of times students only um, dwell in the community of where they're living. So if you're on South, you tend not to um, like tarry down to the North. And if you live on North, you tend not to come down here. But don't let that stop you. Like venture out to the North Court, to Holcomb. All the dorms have a lot of great social events and I encourage you to go to events, meet people, or go to events and don't meet anyone. Just enjoy the event, but go out there, put yourself out there and like fully grasp the experience of being at the U of A because it is one of a kind. And we did get a few more questions. Uh -huh. Uh, Norma asks, do you know if a student brings a headboard, do the headboard legs need to rest on the black bed frame and then zip tie to the bed posts? Um, typically that's what I've seen done. Um, usually you'd have to lower the bed just a little bit since there's not a whole lot of space here to kind of loft that on or to like zip tie it. So unfortunately I think the bed would have to be a little bit lower, but I have seen people bring in their own headboards and then they just zip tie on the back of those onto the frame, like kind of between the mattress and the frame here. Uh, Moxie asked, does it get chilly in the rooms during the winter? Yes. 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 So I'm like, and that's another thing is I've heard the unfortunate like stories of like students who went and suffered the entire year with like leaks in their windows and things like that. That is something I really want to encourage you to put in a fix it request as soon as you have any kind of issue, you can put in that fix it request and they will come in when they, as soon as they get the chance, and usually it's pretty quick, they'll try to take care of those issues. So, and I think heaters aren't allowed. Space heaters yeah, aren't space allowed. Space heaters aren't allowed. So yeah. blankets, blankets. Heated blankets aren't allowed either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I meant regular. Yeah, blankets. Re regular <laughs> so blankets. Some really nice thick blankets. I mean, I think that's the some plus side. Socks. Yeah, so like the plus side for living around Fayetteville and Bentonville, you've got all the Walmart like corporation and all of that. So there's a lot of like brand new things that come out around here. So you always get some like high quality items. So I would say if you want to buy some new blankets and things like that, or even just some fans for your room while it's, you know, warmer months, there's some great things that you can find around here. I will also say in that roommate talk, please discuss thermostat temperature. Yes. Yes. Uh, that kind of goes into the next question. Can we get in trouble if we use person A's electrical station if we're person B? not if they allow you to yeah just talk yes, to like your again like roommate agreement you know talk with your roommate as long as they agree you know that they're willing to let you use some of their space or vice versa just make sure that you're having that conversation with each other and you both are agreeing to that 
Moxie asks, can Amazon and Walmart deliver to the rooms? Not directly to the room, but we do have our uh, hall admin, Kent, at the front desk. So basically, that's his job is to sort through mail and packages. And so he will send out emails to the residents as soon as you get a package. And so you'll come to the front desk to pick up that package. So we don't actually deliver them directly mm -hmm. to the rooms, but you will be able to pick okay. them up. Another tip about that is I would say wait for an actual university email versus like when Amazon tells you it's delivered. Because just because it's delivered doesn't mean like Kent has processed through all of the mail. Um, he doesn't just pick up packages singly as they come in. You get the entire um, dorm's mail. So just to take a little pressure off of Kent, I would say when you do get a delivery email from the place that you bought it from, just wait maybe the same day or the day after for Kent to send you an actual university email. And that's when you can be 100% sure that you can go ahead and just pick up your package. Uh, how much space is there for a rug between the beds? And then while she's getting that, yeah, yeah, put your bed. Uh, while she's answering that, a gazelle asked, does each room have control of the thermostat? Yes. You have, to a certain extent, uh, not going down to like 62 degrees, but... 68 to 72 is yeah. the range yes. like to keep things safe. And that's about 77 inches in between the beds. And Moxie, the closest parking garage, is Harmon. Yes. yes. And we're caught up. All right. We did it. Well, yeah. Final thoughts? Final yeah, thoughts. so like, um, for my final thoughts, I just want to encourage all of you to get involved. I know as part of housing and our residence life program, we've got a lot of changes coming this next year that we're all really excited about. And you know, sharing those things and those insights with our residents that are living in the hall, but we really want to encourage you to make this community your own. So don't be afraid to, you know, throw out your own ideas for things that you want to see happening in the hall. Definitely share that with your RA or even me. I'm definitely open to hearing all of those comments and feedback from my students that live with me because I'm part of the community as well. Um, but otherwise, definitely get involved on campus. Again, there's the Pick One initiative or just, you know, events and things that we'll be holding within the halls too. So keep an eye out for those. We'll have some of those events on Hogsync that you can check out as well. But I'm looking forward to seeing all of you. All right. <laughs> Bye and have fun in Yokum.